okay next can we start with the problem the first problem based on the now i am going to solve a problem based on the ionization enthalpy okay uh, i will write the question here it is the sixth problem the first ionization enthalpy values of the third period elements values of the third period elements that is sodium magnesium and silicon are respectively 496 737 and 786 kilojoule per mole okay predict whether the first delta th value for aluminium will be more close to 575 or 760 kilojoule per mole justify your answer this is the question okay so next time this is just to see here i will once again read the first ionization enthalpy values of the third period elements sodium magnesium and silicon are respectively 5 7 4 96 7 37 and 7 86 kilojoule per mole predict whether the first delta th value for aluminium will be more close to 575 or 760 uh, kilojoule per mole justify your answer okay solution next uh, i will write the solution here it will be more close to 575 kilojoule okay which is more close to five seventy five kilojoule per mole okay so the value of aluminium should be lower than that of a magnesium the value of aluminium should be lower than that of magnesium because of effective uh, shielding okay effective shielding of 3p electrons from the nucleus by 3s electrons okay so this is the solution so here mode which is close to 575 kilojoule per mole the value of aluminium it should be lower than that of a magnesium because of effective shielding of 3p electrons from the nucleus by 3s electrons okay so effective nuclear charge consider this as a uh, s orbital this as a p orbital this is s orbital where s orbital is very close to this is 3s orbital 3p orbital very close to the uh, nucleus so that uh, the shielding effect which is lesser this is for the magnesium okay so which is less so the magnesium of effective shielding of 3p electrons from the nucleus of 3s electrons effective nuclear charge for magnesium is less okay 
this is the problem okay next next is electron gain enthalpy okay uh, when a, an atom is added to a neutral gaseous atom that is x to convert it into a negative ion the enthalpy changes accompanying the process is defined as a electron gain enthalpy please note down this definition if there is an electron okay which is added to a neutral gaseous atom how so this is the neutral gaseous atom when the electron is added to it so uh, the uh, to convert it into a negative ion so there is a negative ion will be converted so according to this equation they are saying the definition the enthalpy change accompanying the process is defined as electron gain enthalpy okay so electron gain enthalpy provides so uh, a measure of the ease with uh, which an atom adds an electron to atom anion as represented by the equation this one this is a okay uh, depending on the element the process of adding an electron to the atom can be either endothermic or exothermic okay for many elements energy is released when an electron is added to the atom and the electron gain enthalpy is negative so when the electron is when this electron is added to the atom so where that is the energy is released okay energy is released and uh, when an electron is added to the atom uh, energy is released okay and the electron gain enthalpy is negative and electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy is negative okay so this is about electron gain enthalpy and uh, for example consider the group 17 elements you see here this is the group 17 elements has very high negative electron gain enthalpies because they can attain stable noble gas config electronic configurations by picking up the an electron they attain stable okay next so as shown in this figure okay so next is as a general rule electron gain enthalpy becomes more negative with increases in the atomic number across a period if you are going uh, electron gain enthalpy if you are going across a period it will be uh, what happens the gain and more negative with increases when the atomic number across a period increases okay so the, the nuclear charge increases from left to right across a period and consequently it will be easier to add an electron to smaller atom okay since the added electron on an average would be closer to the positively charged nucleus okay so this is about electron gain enthalpy so, um, next uh, this is the electron uh, this is the electron gain enthalpies per kilojoule per mole of some main uh, group elements okay next uh, uh, we we have the next one next question is electro next one is electronegativity okay the concept is electronegativity what do you mean by electronegativity a quantitative measure of the ability of an atom in a chemical compound to attract shared electrons to itself is called electronegativity means we are ability of an atom if there is an atom means it is having some ability in a chemical compound where it it should attract what to attract shared electrons okay to attract the shared electrons okay the it is called an electron electron itself is called uh, to attract the shared electrons to itself it is called uh, electronegativity the shared electrons will be attracted okay so in this uh, electronegativity the uh, electronegativity of any given uh, element is not constant okay it varies depending on the element to which it is bound electronegativity of any given element is not constant it varies depending on the element to which it is bound though it is not a measurable quantity okay it does not provide a means of predicting the nature of force that holds a pair of atoms together okay so the attraction between uh, uh, electrons and the nucleus increases as the atomic radius decreases as so here what the attraction okay the attraction between the uh, outer 
mm, between the outer electrons okay and the nucleus increases as we as the atomic radius what when it is decreases okay so in a period the electronegativity also increases okay next the whatever that is uh, what is there that is electro negativity also increases okay on the same account electronegativity values decreases with the increases in atomic radii downing group when the atomic radius decreases electronegativity increases when the atomic radius increases electronegativity decreases okay as opposite to this statement you have to write this is about electronegativity okay hmm. see here so in this this is the electron gain enthalpy ionization enthalpy okay so this is the uh, periodic trends of elements in the periodic table okay what we have discussed about atomic radius over electronegativity is over ionization enthalpy over electro and uh, gain enthalpy over so everything is over now so this is the electronegativity values on pauline scale across the periods okay so next is um, next one this is the atomic period okay what is the electronegativity value this is the electronegativity value where the electronegativity value across if it is moving uh, from left to right it is increases okay so where you are moving in a down the group it is decreases okay so this is about the electronegative values across the period so this is uh, when you are going down a family so as we are observing so this is decreasing correct so if you are moving in um, down so it will obviously will decrease us and then coming to the uh, next topic is uh, uh, this one only the, this is uh, total about electronegativity okay and uh, the whatever the physical properties is also this one so non-metallic uh, uh, elements have a strong tendency of uh, gain uh, or to gain electrons okay therefore electronegativity here see electronegativity which is directly proportional to which is related to the non-metallic properties of element okay properties of elements it can be further extended to say that the electronegativity which is inversely proportional to we can say to the metallic properties okay so thus the increase in electronegativity across a period is accompanied by an increase in non-metallic properties okay of the elements uh, similarly the decrease in electronegativity down a group is accompanied by decrease in a non-atomic uh, non-metallic non of elements so this is about the electronegativity okay what we have studied just to can we do a glance on this okay electron gain enthalpy is over and uh, the electronegativity is over now okay so based on this uh, we can solve the some problems okay